Hello friends, a great welcome to my channel. I am Poonam Dua and today we are going to discuss this paper in detail. It will be a solved question paper of 2023 MA English entrance. हमने पहले भी इस क्वेश्चन पेपर को किया है बट दैट डे ऑनली आई लिस्टेड द क्वेश्चंस एंड टुडे आई डू हैव मेनी मोर क्वेश्चंस प्लस विद अ डिटेल्ड सॉल्यूशन तो अंडरस्टैंड करिए इन क्वेश्चंस को एंड द पैटर्न वाज डिफरेंट लेवल वाज अ लिटिल टफ दैट यू नो बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस मुझे मिल चुके हैं एक ही वीडियो में कवर करना पॉसिबल नहीं है अभी मैं पार्ट वन कवर करवा रही हूँ आपको वेरी सुन आई पब्लिश रेस्ट ऑफ दी पार्ट्स टू थैंक्स टू एवरी वन फॉर द कंट्रीब्यूशन स्टिल आई एम रिसीविंग क्वेश्चंस रेगुलरली स्टूडेंट्स को जैसे भी कुछ भी रिकॉल होता है इमिडिएटली मुझे क्वेश्चन प्रोवाइड करते हैं आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू एवरी The first thing questions की language कुछ different हो सकती है original question से हो सकता है कुछ questions में options भी ना मिले क्योंकि इतना याद नहीं रहता students को लेकिन बहुत questions मिल चुके हैं इससे हमें एक बहुत अच्छा idea हो गया है कि paper किस तरीके का था This was the first question that I got Sir Roger D. Covidly fictional character devised by whom and this is the answer Joseph Edison Joseph Edison devised this character and in the very influential periodical the spectator members of spectator club aap baki bhi yaad karke jaiye created by richard steely and joseph edison spectator club and uh, the characters are roger t coverley sir andrew freeport captain sentry will honeycomb and two unnamed people one the templar and the clergyman savitri was written by who Sri Aurobindo Savitri was an epic of 24000 lines and written by Sri Aurobindo in 1947 Wings of Fire by whom The correct answer Dr APJ Abdul Kalam it is a 1999 biography and was written with Arun Tiwari Utopia was published in how many volumes वॉल्यूम से रिलेटेड कोई स्पेसिफिक इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है आई होप कि एग्जामिनर्स वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द बुक्स एंड देयर आर टू बुक्स बुक वन एंड बुक टू लेट अस वेट फॉर द आंसर की फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन बुक वन डायलॉग ऑफ काउंसिल एंड बुक टू डिस्कोर्स ऑन यूटोपिया आई एम टेलिंग यू अगेन की क्वेश्चन मुझे एग्जैक्ट फॉर्म में नहीं मिले हैं बट आई एम स्टिल थैंकफुल टू एवरी हो सकता है कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे हों जो यहाँ पर बिल्कुल डायरेक्टली ना होकर मैचिंग में पूछे गए हों बट एटलीस्ट द टॉपिक्स हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू मी हु वॉज साहित्य अकेडमी अवार्ड फर्स्ट विनर द करेक्ट आंसर और वेरी ओन आर के नारायण फर्स्ट विनर ही वॉज गिवन द अवार्ड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फॉर द गाइड देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन it continued from 1789 to 1799 uh, it was a very horrifying event in all these years and the aim of the revolution was to overthrow the monarchy and uproot the system of feudalism and replace it with ideas of equality liberty and fraternity next question who was the first indian women to win gyanpeeth award Asha Purna Devi ji in 1976 she was awarded the Gyanpeet award and Padma Shri as well the same year she was a bengali novelist and very famous poetess and first indian women honored with this prestigious award Richard of the Earth written by whom it is a 1961 by philosopher french venan and this book is the analysis of the dehumanizing effects of colonization there was a question about amoretti amoretti very famous sonnet cycle written by edmund spencer to honor his courtship and eventual marriage to elizabeth boyle and was first published in 1595 the year is written here as well on the cover page This question was in some matching list question as per the memory of my students, but the whole question could not be recalled. But let us understand at least what is masks of conquest. 
it is a book that describes the introduction of english studies in india under british rule and its function as an effective form of political control 1989 ki ye book hai and as the cover page says written by gauri vishwanathan then there was a question about horatian ode Horatian ode short lyric poetry hai and there are three types of odes pindaric horatian and irregular horatian was introduced by first century latin poet horace and bahut hi peaceful poetry is hoti hai generally love joy aise themes par based hoti hai aur fairly short hoti hai usually two quatrains two quatrains is two into four or without quatrain just directly eight lines this can be the structure then there was a question Uh, for matching of the definition of theme, motive, plot, and setting. As I am saying, कि पूरे questions को recall नहीं किया जा सकता, इनकी definitions जिन words में दी गई होगी, that could not be given to me. Theme, let us understand theme. Subject topic होता है किसी भी artistic representation का और motive एक recurring element है जो throughout the story चलता रहता है, जैसे कि Uh, motive of fire was there in Jane Eyre. Motive is a recurring idea or concept, जो कि throughout the text आपको दिया जाएगा. Uh, it will be put as an idea in your mind. And plot is a series of events setting the position. Something is in the place and time in which something happens uh, in a story in a play. One more matching question that could be recalled: situational irony, dramatic irony, structural irony, and verbal irony. Hats off to the memory of all of you, who have provided me so many questions. I am really thankful. Situational irony: Let us understand the irony of something happening that is very different of what was expected. Example: Fire station catching fire or police station getting robbed. dramatic irony when we know more than the characters more than the characters understanding structural irony implication of reversed meaning of the whole work structural irony ka acha example hai modest proposal jisme writer continuously kehte rehte hain ki we should eat up all the newborns but he does not mean that overall meaning hi pure text ka change hota hai verbal irony ka ek expansion hai एक तरीके से आप कह सकते हैं वर्बल आइडनीज सिंपल सेंटेंस व्हाट यू से यू मीन ऑपोजिट ऑफ दैट हंड्रेड इयर्स ऑफ वॉर स्टार्टिंग ईयर दैट वाज आल्सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज 1337 ऑल दो मेनी आर टेलिंग मी दैट 1337 वाज नॉट एन ऑप्शन एंड इट वाज 1338 प्लीज कंफर्म समवन प्लीज कंफर्म इन कमेंट्स Shakespeare's plays odd one out this was easy twelfth night is a comedy and rest are tragedies then there was a question about 2022 nobel prize it was given to any annex this is the right answer 2022 nobel prize was awarded to any annex then again there was a matching question of sons and lovers and ulysses rest of the two options of this question could not be recalled Sons and Lovers T H Lawrence and Ulysses James Joyce Who translated Thomas I think this was not a direct question but in matching list Thomas ko pehle to author ne khud hi translate kiya tha and later on it was translated by Daisy Rockwell as well Question ka exact answer kya rahega that can be told only after looking at the whole matching list that was given in your question paper Daisy Rockwell is also one option and bhishma sahani himself is also an option translator of mother 1084 very popular bengali novel hazar churashir ma that is a very popular movie as well jaya bhaduri jaya bachchan has worked in that and written by mahashweta devi translated by samik bandopadhyay And this question, this question को लेकर सबके views अलग-अलग हैं uh, options को लेकर, but the right option is same, wise and otherwise. People are saying कि two states was not there. I'm not sure. I cannot comment upon that. 
but three options were written by chetan bhagat who states one indian girl revolution 2020 and maybe some other novel wise and otherwise we know is the right answer and that is a book by sudha murthy next question was about the genre of melores le morte di otto the options could not be recalled but uh, let us see what it is it is actually a middle english narrative prose revoking by thomas melory of tales about legendary king author so i need to really see the options first to comment upon which is the right answer next question was about jacobian age time period this was not a tough question the correct answer 1603 to 1625 it was a period of english and scottish history that coincides with the reign of james 6 james 6 who also inherited the crown of england as james 1 in 1603 this era succeeds elizabethan and precedes caroline era next question was about coleridge's fancy and imagination I do not know what the question exactly was but let me define the fancy and imagination for you fancy is a very passive and mechanical process like all your senses can work in a way that will be called fancy the mechanical construction of your ear with which you can hear something is called fancy but imagination is more powerful and valuable form of creativity than fancy and uh, there are two types of imaginations primary and secondary primary is with everyone and secondary with the artistic kind of people the extra creativity next question was about shakespearean sonnet rhyming scheme sonnet 18 i have picked for you as an example shall i compare the two asa musti iambic pentameter also shakespeare sonnets are composed of 14 lines and are most mostly divided into three quatrains and a final concluding couplet rhyming scheme a b a b c d c d e f e f g g and the sonnet form and rhyme scheme is also known as english sonnet shakespearean sonnet english sonnet and the last question of this video the videos will continue very soon maybe today or tomorrow i'll upload rest of the videos अभी तक के लिए 25 क्वेश्चन तक आप कवर करिए एंड देर विल बी मेनी मोर क्वेश्चन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिजम वॉज रिटन बाय होम इट इज नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फोर बुक सबसे पहले तो ईयर देख लीजिए बाय आई ए रिचर्ड एंड द थियोरी ऑफ माइंड रेस्पॉन्स टू रिदम एंड मीटर दिस इज वॉट दिस बुक इज अबाउट न्यू क्रिटिसिज्म से रिलेटेड एक बहुत ही पॉपुलर बुक है ये बाय आई ए रिचर्ड्स I know the paper was very different from the previous 10 years papers. Just just maybe if the past 10 years' question paper solved, then the the person can say the paper was different. I will use the word different rather than tough. Paper was a little different, so I hope that marking will be a little bit different, the cutoff will be a little bit different. I hope you all have the selection that you just just have worked hard for the whole year. a great best of luck to all of you may all of you are able to make it to your dream universities next part is coming very soon tab tak ke liye in questions ko practice kariye and i know bahut sare students ka to abhi exam bhi nahi hua hai aur admit card ki bhi tension chal rahi hai i know that तो आ जाएगा एडमिट कार्ड आपका आपके पास एक एडवांटेज है टेक इट पॉजिटिवली सभी क्वेश्चंस को प्रैक्टिस करिए बहुत ही अच्छे से द सेम क्वेश्चंस विल नॉट बी देयर इन योर एग्जामिनेशन लेकिन एटलीस्ट नाउ यू हैव गॉट एन आइडिया अबाउट दी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस अ ग्रेट बेस्ट ऑफ लक टू एवरी वन वन कुछ लोगों को आने वाले एग्जाम्स के लिए और कुछ को आने वाले रिजल्ट के लिए